Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Director Detail View. So in today's tutorial, we will see a little more detail about the IDD application, how to export and import IDD deployment file. Then we will see detail about the deployment file. But before going to see into the IDD, let's see what are the configuration available in the MDM hub side. Because IDD and the MDM hub are work as a together. So the today's model we are going to use in the IDD application uh, is nothing but party database model. So we have the party table which consists of the party ID and party name which are having the various parties so those will be uh, achieved by using the party type table party role table so we have the party role table as well and the other parties such as we have the organization we have the person etc the party type is this is the party table with the party uh, the first name last name and the other columns which is having the association with the party type uh, so the party type we see so there is a party type which is linked with the other party type table which will give the what type of party available whether person or the organization so the relationship between the party and the other associated parties nothing but the party relationship table we have so let's go into the ID application how can we access the ID application in order to access the ID application we have to go to the browser and we will log into this uh, URL localhost port number bdd config config underscore main dot jsf. So once you log into this application, you will find out what are the application you have created. In order to see how to create application, you can watch my previous videos. So currently, what we are going to do, we will export this application. So once you export the application, it will save a zip file with the name of uh, your application name as I already downloaded it appends with the one so what I'll do I will remove all of this and I will export one more time so you can see the name of application is the customer which is your application name let's open the folder and let's see what is the content of this folder so this is a zip file so i did application is nothing but it is a zip application so let's see what is the content of this zip application so i just ex extracted the customer and it has the various files the file first file is bdd bundle bdd en bdd config bdd help file error code bundle error code bundle english Bund message bundle message bundle english metadata bundle metadata english if you open any of this language like e and files all are empty we will explain you why those are empty and what is the use of that e n so e n means english but however if you open the remaining files those are not empty it each file has the content so those are nothing but the default files so if you are using like some specific language like english deutsch chinese etc then the associated files need to be present if the other file is not present then the default content will be shown suppose if you choose the uh, spanish language in your application and there is no spanish file available then the english content will be shown which is the default content in this file so where we can choose the language so there are two locations where we can choose the language so on the admin console this is the idd admin console here the language is section and you can select france or english spanish Deutsch, portuguese etc the second part in order to go to the see the second part you have to log into the uh, developed application 
and you can choose or you can change the language to what are the options we have so currently the application is associated with the different languages and it is inbuilt provided whenever you create that so when you select language the appropriate tags will get changed suppose i change to kind of chinese so you can see this language so the characters will get automatically changed so in case if you want to change to some other language portuguese so the according to the labels also get changed now i'm reverting back to english to understand to better understand then similarly if you if you want to see if you want to change the language and the console suppose i have to change here let me hopefully this will allow me to log in otherwise what i'll do i will re-log into this this could be a cache issue normally the browser cache issue won't work properly so that's why i need to re-log in so i'm selecting here and here if we choose portuguese now i can see the labels on the left side in the portuguese language here the message also in the portuguese the message status the application status also it is in the portuguese now suppose i want to change some other language suppose i want this in deutsch language so similarly all the things get converted into german that is deutsch language even the help content also converted in a corresponding uh, language suppose if you change to some other foreign language the content will also get changed and this is the help accordingly will get changed so so this is the feature in the different different language we can see so how this is achieved this is achieved nothing but the whatever the we have corresponding files so if you see the customer file one which we just extracted so it has the various bundle messages so it has the english so it is two character country code like the en for the english es for spanish etc so if you don't have corresponding bundle then the appropriate default message will be displayed and these uh, the values are nothing but the uh, the left side before the equal to side is called a code and the before the uh, after the equal sign is called the value so if you use this code like granularity underscore year the value will be actually four times yy so similarly uh, all the bundles are available so if you be did help so it has all the corresponding files these are the uh, so, uh, international re related files message related files if you want to display some error code or the validation related it is error code bundle file the most important file out of these files is nothing but the bdd config so let's have a look in the bdd config file so before going to have a, a detailed look let's see what is our application so our application is customer it has subject area groups and the name of subject area is customer it has a child called as a profile and the grandchild uh, as a so it has a child as a address it has a subject area as a profile and subject area group as a customer subject area group as a customer profile as a subject area and the address as a uh, it is a child uh, so let's have a look so we understand this is the flow this is the and if you want to see the columns of the address we can edit and we can see how, what are the columns we are using the electronic address is valid electronic address type opt-in indicator so these are the columns from address we are going to see so all those columns will be available inside this bdd config so we have the subject area group as a customer you can see here which is already we have shown the subject area group is customer inside subject area group we have the subject area called profile so this is the same thing profile we have subject area group and then we have the the last thing is a 
grand child uh, the subject area child that is a address we will see one by one so address area group subject area group is closed here and within that subject area we have the subject area group we have subject area and which is also closed and within the subject area we have person so we have filtered the only persons with the party type and it will return us all the columns from the party c c underscore party table we will get the prefix name first name last name middle name and other party columns the other things we are we are going to see is nothing but the address related so if you see here i can see the child is many a uh, one to many and the child name is nothing but the uh, address so we can see the child has address and it is nothing but the it is using the mapping c empty electronic address which is one to many and we are able to see the columns from the C party elect address. The column name is electronic address is valid indicator, electronic address type CD and opt in indicator. If you deselect any of this column, suppose if you do if you remove this one of the column or deselect, you will not able to see that column inside this bdd dot bdd config dot xml file. Now let's see pro each property one by one. Suppose you select one column that is name prefix CD. So the column ID is nothing but the name of the column from the that given table. Like in this case, C party is the table name and the name prefix CD is the column name from that table. Edit style. Can we edit this field? So the, the Edit style means with what kind of uh, thing it is. It is a kind of field. Editable equal to true. That means can we edit this field when you try to update the record or insert new record? Can, is it possible to insert this name prefix CD? Yes, because the editable is true. Hidden false means if you want to hide this field, if it is if it is true, then this field will be hidden. Horizontal style is medium, so we can have the small, medium, or the large. So these are the properties for the column. Line break equal to false. If you want to achieve the line break, false, yes. If you want to show this field as a hyperlink, you can mention as true. For example, email addresses or the website name. Whenever you click that uh, address, it should go to the browser kind of thing. If you want to achieve the hyperlink, you can mention such fields as a true. Normally, we use the show as a hyperlink for the email address or the web address, etc. Show in the hierarchy manager compact view. Suppose you want to achieve some view kind of like change the view of display, then you can make this variable uh, attribute as a true required field false. So whenever you create a new record or if you want to update a uh, existing record, in this case, if you want that particular column to be a required column, you have to make as a true so that the asterisk sign will be shown on the screen and it will be uh, for the end user, it will be required. So he can understand he has to provide required fill as a required. If the user don't provide any value for the required fill, the validation error will occur. The same properties will be applicable for the all the columns you can see the properties are uh, repeated you can customize whatever the property you want to customize using the bdt file so these are the things about the bdt file so as the session goes we will see these properties properties in little more elaborative way now suppose you uh, suppose you change that file okay somehow and you want to create a zip file and you want to import it so how can you do that so what i'll do i will delete this existing zip file 
you can change the vdraft.xml file or bundle files and create a zip file so this will create a zip file now how to import the that updated zip file in order to import the updated zip file what i'll do i will go to the application and select the application here the import there are three options available import idd config only that is means if you have the changes only in the bdd config.xml you can use that file as a xml file import complete idd application as a zip so if the application you have uh, if you made a changes in multiple files then you can create a zip and import import to existing idd application if you want to import in the existing application you can import it so currently we have created zip file so that's why we will use the zip as a option so this is customer and the customer zip file open import found error during the import operation the error is error validation field for some object in the object tree bd application must be set so it is saying that uh, the bdn application name is not set so we have to set that there could be possibility that we are importing uh okay so we whenever you say whenever you do cancel it will give one one more popper that colors import as and we have to do the save as let's try one more time hopefully this time it should not give any error and we are choosing the customer zip file we choose the file and we are asking to cancel so let's click save as or what else we can do the other option for a while to to fix that issue we can go to the xml file and we'll we'll go to the customer what are the extracted folder select the what are the B, bdd config file import and we'll click import it says that the, an application already exists with the name customer do you want to replace the existing application with this any previous customization to this existing applications and its component will be lost so we are okay that because we have not make any changes so we'll just replace it we are going to bind the application with the mpm sample once you successfully do that you can see that application here it's in a deployment phase or you can redeploy also it is saying it we got one warning but we can ignore for now warning is okay and we'll select that application and full deployment so this is the step you have to do every time so whenever you make any changes you have to import the application you have to full the full deployment or you can re, uh, do the redeployment afterwards means after that you can select any kind of refreshment a refresh you want to do you can do with a redeploy option so these are the things about the idd application how to export the application and how to import the application thank you for watching the video you can subscribe my channel have a nice time